In this video for Open Buildings Designer Connect Edition, HVAC modeling, we'll take a look at manufacturer catalogs and we'll use our air terminal as an example here. So I'm in my model, I'll come up to the mechanical tab, select my air terminals tool, property panel opens up, double check my placement options. I'll be placing this air terminal by the middle center point here. I have part family orientation size and shape turned off. My base offset is set to 10 feet. Do have my ACS plane lock and ACS plane snap lock turned on. I see I have my catalog item set to diffuser, square sailing round connection, square diffuser top, family diffuser, part supply new. We look at our property panel, our data group properties here. I'll go ahead and make some changes to my air terminal here. As you can see, I can adjust any of these values. We see our preview change. As I change, adjust these values. Maybe I'll change one more box height. Again, you can see how the preview changes there. But if we scroll down to the parameters category in our property panel, notice we have this one called catalog name. So if I open that list, I see I have three different catalogs provided here. I am working in a work set that's utilizing the data set US. And so I'll choose this Titus catalog. Notice how my preview changed because now it's utilizing a air terminal from out of that title Titus catalog. And I can see that it's entered some of the values here. And I see that the terminal is out here on my cursor. Now we can look at that catalog to see what's available. I can select on the catalog name property here. Notice we get that extra context menu drop down list here. And if I choose that, one of those options is manufacturer catalog. So if we choose manufacturer catalog, we see we get this manufacturer catalog dialog box. And I see the different product codes. So if I were to select one of these, let's say the TMS. 6, 12 by 12, 24 by 24. I see that's got a six inch diameter. I see the grill thickness, the box height, and I'll go ahead and select OK. If you keep an eye on the property panel when we select OK, notice how that changes the configuration of our air terminal. Again, you can see it out here on the cursor. And I see that it's put the product code in here TMS 6, 12 by 12, 24 by 24. Now in this manufacturer catalog dialog box, we've got some functionality here. We can sort by the columns that we're presented with here. I can set a filter to, let's say, just show me eight inch diameters. So notice the diameters I have available, four inch, five, six, seven, eight, 10, 12, 14, and 15. Go ahead and select okay. I see I have a couple of different options here. Let's choose this one. Again, I'll select OK there. And again, notice how the preview change. And it has set my diameter, my width and depth, my box height. So we see how I'm getting that information from that manufacturer catalog. If we look at that catalog one more time here, you'll notice how there isn't a nine inch diameter available from this particular catalog. So what that means is if I were to come over here and enter in nine inches as the diameter, 
it won't accept it. It'll go to the nearest it can get to, which in this particular catalog is eight inches. I'll go ahead and place a couple of these. When I'm using that base offset, I have a tendency to come over to a top view. Place a couple of these over here in my model. If I rotate my view one to a front right isometric, there are those two terminals that I placed utilizing that manufacturer catalog. Now there is also a AccuDraw shortcut that we can look at that catalog. So for example, if I were go go back to Air Terminals tool here, of course we'll go back to the last one I used. Notice that my information is filled out here in the parameters. I'll go F11 on my keyboard to put my focus in AccuDraw. Type in HC as AccuDraw shortcut. Again, that will get me to that manufacturer catalog dialog box. Just choose a different one here. Say OK. I'll place that one. See how this is a much smaller air terminal. Zoomed in there. Now I can clear that information simply by coming to the catalog property, and I can choose just the blank option there. And then if I need to, I'll just backspace out of these other values here in the parameters. So if I were to go up here now and choose nine inch diameter, it will allow me as it's, uh, I can basically enter any configuration that I want to now. So manufacturer catalogs available for some of our catalog items. Right here is the practice workbook that goes along with these videos. And in the help options, you can go look up manufacturer catalog. And it shows me all these different catalog items, whether they're HVAC uh, or plumbing, that have a manufacturer catalog available delivered with the software. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.